Hello everybody, my name is Dan Arthur and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. We're going to continue forth today and uh, right off the bat you will notice we have a new enemy! Which drops Boko Baba Seeds. I'm keeping it in the spoils bag. This is, of, this is the source of the evil magic plant's magic. Perhaps you can, you can find someone to cut it up. Its magic can be unleashed. And as soon as you kill it, it becomes a stick! Which you can use... Hold on a sec. I do want to get the... Which you can use to more easily kill its brethren. Isn't that nice? Isn't that helpful? Just, just easily kill you. Just drop the item that easily kills your kind. <laughs> If you're human and you die, you drop a gun. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. We got aim. Oh no no! Yep. Well, we are finding beetle again, so we might. Uh, yeah, I might want to get more. Of it. Bait. I can get the hoi pears, but I don't have a need for them myself, so it's not as much a necessary buy. Hey, more Deku goes here. It's kind of great to get that because it's like... Could you get that second uh, spritz? And I wasn't talking about that spritz. Frick. It's always great to get that monster orb because it it always nets you at least one solid rupee like each one that will net you at least 10 rupees more if you get to the rest of the rupees <laughs> so 
So snagging at the Octorox uh, gets you hearts. But that's fine. Oh, now that I'm thinking about this though, that's something else we could have gotten at the... Huh. Oh, that's... that's just fine and dandy to think about. We could have gotten that out back when we were back in one fall, but you know what? We could have... we could take care of that later when we got more heart pendants, you know? And as we get more gold feathers, you know, we'll go back and get the gold feathers, you know? Uh, And there's our Deku tree. With warts! Warts! No! Okay, so now we got green chew jelly. Uh, what? They, they went back on his face! The warts are back! <laughs> Just fell into the tree and then they, uh... As far as the cutscene started again, I was like... Why the cutscene start again? <laughs> I was like, <sighs> okay, okay, the talking tree. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly felt I felt like a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid, for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. I hate warts. Tell me. Was it not the King of Red Lions, the bow who speaks, who led you to this place? No, it was the King of Blue Turtles. Ah, uh, so it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters have begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Corrux, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the... Oh. Well then, Link, these are the quirks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the quirks took on human form. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever, ever be my cherished little children. As it happened, you have just come into it come just in time for a ceremony the Kurok's hold, but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once the ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could be fallen. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? 
Well, we are not a great deck of tree. Something terrible has happened. It's Makar. Makar! What does it matter, Lucas? You and my car are always late. <laughs> no, not your car. Hi, real great deck of tree. It's Makar. He fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods and as he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken the child of the forest, they Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I do. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. That is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? The Great Dagger Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah yes, thank you child, you are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my core children. Yeah, I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly throughout the sky. Drink my snot! <laughs> Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up there to my crown and get the leaf up there? It... Alright, so. I guess what we gotta do is we gotta just, um. Is we gotta bounce through these flower buds. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> you gotta be very careful because some of them just are, uh, fakes. They're not the right ones to go for, and then that can uh, hurt. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you're attuned, and it doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, well, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep going, doing that until you get all the way to the top. You shoot the outfits in the wrong direction, don't panic. Just hit. If you don't tilt left in any direction, you land back. Oh, right. Interesting, so wrong button. So basically, we can juggle ourselves and definitely in a bot in a bot about bulb for. A long, long time. Oh, no, 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 You got the Deku Leaf. You wouldn't think that you'd be held up by this, but you're light. Put your feet on the ground and use the full blast of air at your head. You also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. So it's been over here. Oh, over here. Please, you must fly over there. Before, over there here using your death release. What if I don't? What if I decide to come over here? And come out this way. Bye! I should have changed the wind direction! Hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec.
Note to self, if you're jumping anywhere, or note to anybody watching, if you're jumping anywhere, make sure to change the wind direction to where you are going. Because if your Steve bar runs out, and I'm, I'm going to call the magic bar the Steve bar, because that's its color scheme. Because if your Steve Bar magic runs out, you're going to be in a, for a hard time. You're incredible. Did you just fly down here? It's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think you could hit that switch over there, huh, King? No, you can't see it. It's just over there to the hot top of the forest haven. Did you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't have this day and age have a telescope? I see it over there. Um, yeah, you know, maybe if I would have had a flight star before coming over here. Eh. Uh, uh. I, I don't have item. <laughs> I don't have good item. Uh, we have to come back here. Okay. So in the in the interest of saving time, <sighs> hate to do this. In the interest of saving time in the episode, I'm actually going to... Uh... Meet you guys back at that platform. So, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, we're back. Hey, get some magic pause button. So... So now all I've got to do is just, uh... Get this pair and kind of gently glide this bird to his demise of that button. And now we can come back. But anyway, this is the last thing I want to show this episode, and it is, quite literally, the gotcha game. Welcome! Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery figurine place. This is your first time, this is your first time here, isn't it? Some of our members provide you with an introduction, I hope. Oh, well, no worries, one way or the other. I've been losing members due to our lack of gimmicky attractions. We don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a gut member of our club? The figurines we have on display here have been, all have been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor a pictograph that steals my breath away, then you become a member and you'll become able to view our collection in our gallery. Don't that be nice? Do you have any such pictograph? Well, actually... I do have the picture box. What is this? This is in black and white. Monochrome photographs. Don't, just don't provide the kind of inspiration I need to create a beautiful figurine, I'm afraid. Oh.
Well, we'll need to come back here later. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time. On the other game library. We are actually going to. I'll actually meet you guys back up top. So we can go moving forward. Because that's where we need to go. Over there. That little thing over there. That looks like a dragon fruit. Just sticking out in the middle of the ocean. That's where we're going. See you guys then.